Hey, what's up? Welcome back everyone. So it's me, David, again. I, I'm here giving you another hit class, high intensity interval training on behalf of Trinity Sport. So all you'll need for today's workout, okay, it's all body weight, so you might need a mat. Uh, and just a small bit of space in your immediate area. Make sure you've got uh, an idea of how much room you have overhead. Um, but other than that, it could be in your garden, could be in a park, could be on your balcony, your living room, your sitting room, wherever you want, okay? As long as you've got a little bit of space on the floor, is uh, quite level, okay? So similar to what we did last week, you're gonna do a three minute warm up, short break, three minutes of a tough section, short break, and then a final three minutes, okay? So you're looking at about nine minutes of exercise, but a little break scattered in between, and then a quick, really quick cool down stretch at the end. So hopefully I'll have you here for maybe 12, 15 minutes. Um, sometimes the exercise is gonna get pretty tough, if anything gets too tough, you have that same option you had last week. Just take anything you want back to just dancing on the spot, okay? Shaking out the arms. Try not to come to a complete stop unless it's one of the rest periods. Alrighty? So, first three exercises or four exercises to get warmed up. 15 seconds each. We're going to do three rounds. I'll talk you through it. First exercise. I want you to start with me now. We're going to start with open jacks, okay? So the arms are going out, the legs are going out to the sides. This time you're really opening up the chest rather than the usual jump jack where the hands go up overhead. Okay, give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, next we're doing heel flicks. So you're dancing on your toes, heels coming up behind, looking like so. Okay, not too fast, just keep a nice smooth rhythm. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I want you to stand still, legs a little bit wider apart. You're gonna shift your weight over, up into the middle, over, up into the middle. Okay, you can make that a little bit more smooth. I still want you at a certain point to have both legs extended. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're doing swaps. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so from the side, looks like this. Okay, big swaps on your toes. Throwing the arms up, getting the arms ready to go as well. Three, two, and one. Back to the start. That's your forward exercises. Let's go. Round two, I want you going a little bit faster. Still dancing on the toes, arms going back. Three, two, and one. Heel flicks, heels up behind. Nice and light on your toes. Throw your hands out. Try to get your heels to touch the hands. Keep that going. Four, three, two, and one. Side lunges, over and back. Sit back onto the heel of your foot. Really switching on one leg at a time. Nice work, nice work. Keep that up. Five, four, three, two, and one, swaps. This will be the end of round two. And then we're gonna do one more round of your warm up. Let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, adding a little bit of speed. Nearly there. Four, three, two, and one. Last round, let's do it. Arms going back. We're not jumping higher, but I am going quicker. Let's keep that going, folks. Four, three, two, and one. Heel flicks, heels up behind. Really running now, folks. Let's do it. That's it. You should feel that heart rate coming up. Stay with it. Three, two, and one. Side lunges. Over and back. Really switching on those quads. Getting the glutes working. Get a little bit of mobility and flexibility inside the leg as well. Keep that going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Get those swaps. Up to that. Up to leg. Big swaps with the legs, high swaps with the arms. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. So, if you're like me right now, your heart rate should be up a little bit. Should be breathing a little bit heavier. That blood is definitely flowing around the body. You should feel a little bit more ready to go than you did about three minutes ago. Okay, moving on. That's one round or one batch done. Second round we're gonna do. You have three exercises to do. A little bit tougher, these exercises and they're gonna be 20 seconds each. So, your first exercise, you're gonna squat down, touch the ground with your fingertips, come up overhead and jump. Fingertips go down to the ground, fingertips go up to the sky. So this is what it looks like, okay? Like so. As I said before, we started, just be mindful. Make sure you've got a bit of room above your head, okay? Second exercise, you're gonna swap into a explosive side lunge. Step to the side, up and across, up and across. Again, just be mindful of what have you got. Have you got the space either side of you to do that? Third exercise, jump down on your mat or on your floor. Hands are down on the mat, okay? Upper body stays flat and you're just doing leg curls like so, okay? Trying to switch on your lower abdomen, okay? And your hands 
at taking some of that pressure. Okay, in and out. Okay, there are your three. So, frog jumps. Okay, explosive side lunges with a bit of a hop in between. And then you've got the leg curls in and out on the floor. Three rounds, 20 seconds on each exercise. And then we've got three rounds of each exercise to do. Okay, so in three minutes time, it'll be done. Don't even worry about it. Are we ready? We're starting with those frog jumps. Fingers to the ground, fingers to the sky. Three, two, one. Let's do it, folks. Let's work. Okay, now if you're feeling warmed up and you're feeling ready to go, I want you to go straight into top speed. Okay, if you still think you need another minute or two, start slow and you can build up that speed. Let's go. Fingers touch the ground, fingers touch the sky. Keep it going. If this gets too much, go dancing or just take it back to no jump. Just do the squat. Three, two, and one. Side lunge, hop in between. Side lunge. Let's go. Just like your warm up. That's why we did that exercise to get the outsides and insides of the legs ready to go. Popping up. Five, four, three, two, and one. On the ground, hands down for some support. Head and shoulders down on the floor. Curl the legs in. This one doesn't have to be at a million miles an hour. Keep the technique. Control that breathing. Exhale as the knees come in. Four, three, two, and one. Up you get. Round two. Try stay with me, folks. Fingers to the ground. Fingers up overhead. Let's do it. Woo. Feeling that now? I am. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Side lunge up and across. Get that bend in the hip. Lots of power. Push yourself over and across. A little bit of speed if you can. Doing great, folks. Really good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Finish off that second round. Legs in, legs out. This is your opportunity to get that breathing back under control. Try exhale as the knees come in. Deep breaths, everybody. One more round, then we get a breather. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Last round. Let's do it. Fingers down, fingers up. If it's too much, do something like this. Okay, no jump, but I still want you to get the hands down, hands up. Less than a minute to go, folks. Come on. Hope you're still with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Legs feeling a bit like jelly now. Down and across. Down and across. Come on, folks. Come on. You can do it. Nearly there. Woo, get those quads working. Five, four, three, two, and one. On your mat. Last exercise in this group. Let's go. 20 seconds. You get to stay lying down. Come on, come on. Try your best to stay with me. We're all in this together, folks. 10 seconds. Knees in, knees out. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Chill the beans. Pat your breath. Shake it out if you need to. Don't spend too long, your man. We're gonna jump back up. If you have water nearby, grab some water now. Give that body a good shake. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. We're not gonna give you a full recovery, just a little bit of recovery in between. Stretch something if you think it needs stretching. That was a lot of quad work, so you might wanna give yourself a little quad stretch. You do have one more phase to do. You've done your warm up. You've done your first hard batch of exercises. You have a second batch of tough exercises to do. Same format, three exercises, 20 seconds on each one. And you're gonna repeat three rounds. This one hopefully will be a little bit less quad dominant. First exercise, plain and simple. We're running on the spot, okay? Now, don't think of this necessarily as high knees. Just go as fast as you can, arms going. Might even wanna tilt forward a little bit, but you are staying on the spot. Don't go running away on me, okay? That's your first exercise. Second exercise, we're gonna do thrusters. Hands on your mat. Maybe keep your feet just off the end of your mat. We're gonna hop in and hop out. Hop in, hop out. Just be really conscious when the legs go back out that you don't curve your lower back like this, okay? Keep yourself in a nice plank position. Alrighty, and then third exercise, we're gonna be in this kind of like B position, slightly tilted back, legs just hovering off the ground. I want you to reach 
and tap the inside of your opposite shoe. That means left arm is going to right shoe, right arm is going to left shoe. Not fast, just keep it twisting, like so. Gives the legs a bit of a break, gives the arms a bit of a break and it switches on those abs. There you go, three, okay? So, running on the spot, hopping in and out, and then your V position, tapping the opposite shoe, okay? Got this, folks? Three rounds, you're done. We can all relax. Okay, 20 seconds of running on the spot. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, speed-wise, I want you going about 80% of what you can do right now. Alrighty? So think about what would be a sprint for dear life. I only want you about 80% of that. Arms gone. Now, you've probably guessed what we're gonna do. Last five seconds, go, 100%. Four, three, two, and one. On your mat. Hands down, plank position. Hop in, hop out. Let's go. Whatever speed you can manage that move with that. Keep the abs tight, folks. Abs tight. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. On your bums. Slightly tilted back. Let's go. Reach in for the opposite shoe. Inside of the opposite shoe. So your upper body is getting a little twist. Lower body is doing a cycling movement. Five, four, three, two, one, round two. Let's go. Up on your feet. Jog in, let's do it. Round 75, 80%, let's do it. Woo. Don't worry about getting the knees too high. This is about speed, ready? Four, three, two, sprint. Go, last five seconds, folks. Four, three, two, one, down. Woo. Knees in, knees out. Let's go. Keep those abs tight. Don't cave that lower back on the legs out part. Come on, come on. It's getting hard for me to talk. That means you should be working hard too. Four, three, two, and one. Sitting down. Tilt it back. Get to that opposite foot. Twist, twist. If it's too hard, just hold. Okay? Keep it going, folks. One more round. We're nearly there. Five, four, Three, two, one, let's do it. Last round, 10 seconds of jogging, 10 seconds of sprinting. Woo, come on, we're nearly there, less than a minute to go. Ready, three, two, one, sprint as fast as you can. Come on, you have less than 60 seconds, folks. Five, four, three, two, one, last set of thrusters. Go. Deep breath, you can do it. We're all working hard together. Come on, come on. Push, five, two more thrusters. Three, two, and one. Sitting down, last exercise. Twist, get to that foot. Come on, come on. Reach for it, reach for it. Good news, you get to lie down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my days. Feeling good? Not so good? Might not feel great now. Give it like 10 minutes, you're gonna feel fantastic. Catch your breath folks, big deep breaths in and out. Just stay down for another few seconds. You've got water handy, grab a quick sip. You're gonna finish your tough part of the exercise. Don't cancel the video just yet, you're gonna do a quick stretch with me. Slowly get up to your feet now. Give it all a shake if you want. All we're gonna do is it was a short workout, so all we're gonna do is stretch the major muscles that we use, okay? So we did a decent bit of abs, toes pointing forward, not too wide in your stance, couple of twists, just to loosen up this midsection. Okay, we did a couple of twists on the ground, so that means we have to stretch our obliques over to one side, get a nice stretch all down the outside of the opposite rib cage, opposite side. And shake it out. We're gonna get our hamstrings, we're gonna show you from the side. Deep breath in, slowly lean forward. Legs are pretty straight. Just let gravity take you into the stretch. Slowly come back up, give them a shake. Calves, one leg back behind. If you have something to lean on, lean on it. Most of our jumping exercises use the calf. So, either lean on your leg or lean on the wall or something in front of you and you're stretching this calf muscle. So wiggle that foot back, keep the heel on the floor. 
come up, swap it over. Super work, everyone. That heart rate should be coming down. If it's not, keep the deep breathing going. It'll come down. Last one, our main muscle we work today. Quads, okay? Even though it was a hip workout, quads are involved in so many of those movements. So let's get the two knees close together. Take a hop if you're feeling jelly leg like me. Hold something if you want. To get a nice stretch into your quad like so. Shake that leg out. Up the leg. And shake it out. Alrighty. Amazing work everyone, okay? Hopefully you're a little bit warmer than you were about 10, 15 minutes ago. Hopefully you feel a bit worked out. Do a longer stretch if you want, if you think you need it. Take a few minutes, drink plenty of water. Go wash off the muck if you like me and you did it outside. Excellent work and I'll be seeing you again next week with another hit workout. Okay, thanks a million. Tag TCD Sport if you can. See you later.